really don't know what Christmas is all about. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing a mystery blind bag challenge. Basically, my mom over here is going to go in my room. She's going to pick a bunch of random art supplies and put it in this Christmas stocking. And then I'm going to randomly choose a supply, well actually multiple supplies, from the bag until my mom tells me to stop. And then I'm going to use those supplies in the art piece. So let's get to it. My mom is also going to show you from her perspective of her picking up the pieces of art supplies. She's going to talk through it. She's just going to tell us her process. And I'll be back when she is done. I got this idea from Lil Star Nerd. Her name is Al. I'll tag her in the title or description. But basically, she did this, this exact same idea. Loved it. I was like, I got to do this idea too. And I hope she doesn't mind. Like I said, that's why I was going to credit her. By the way, you see my arm? I got in a car accident. So that's why my arm's all bandaged up or whatever. It's not broken or anything. It just has deep tissue bruising. So that's what happened to that. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's who I got my idea from. So that way you guys would know that and you can also go to her channel and see what she did for this idea as well and yeah also there's a few exceptions to this game so first rule is that if there's any extra supplies that i need like uh, something to draw on paint brushes that type of thing that she didn't put in there then i'll grab those um number two is that if anything that's dried out or used, I'll use a, something that is like similar to that item. Um, number three, I'll pick out the items until my mom tells me to stop. And number four, I forgot number four, but it's okay. It'll come to me. I'll let you guys know later. But yeah, that's basically the rules for this. And now my mom's gonna go ahead and pick out right, the supplies. Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass this off to my mom. And she's gonna go ahead and show you her process of picking up the stuff. And she's gonna fill that bag as much as she can. And we'll see you when I'm picking this stuff out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so, um, let's see. I think I'll get some colored pencils. Let's see. Uh, This one. Uh, let's see. I think I'll get this green one here. So we've got uh, two, I guess, yellow and kind of orangish, a pukey green, okay? Here. And let's see. Hmm. Let's see what kind of see. Get a pencil. And let's see, she's gonna need an eraser. I think that's an eraser. I'm not sure. Magic rug. Hmm. And let's see, what is this? Nope, we're not gonna do dry erase markers. I'm not gonna do that to her. Okay, so let's see. Uh, oh, some of these markers here. What do we have? Um Skin tone markers. Okay, let's see. I guess we'll go with black. A blender. Uh, 
dark suntan color. And let's see, what's this? Dusky Rose. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a couple of paint brushes. This one. And a bigger one. Okay, we're going to try the smaller brush. Okay. Found these watercolor brush markers. Let's see what she can do with those. And I'm going to cheat a little bit and go to another room and grab something that will make this piece of art really interesting. Hold on. My husband is an artist and I saw him do some art one time with some instant coffee. So we're going to throw this in the mix. <laughs> I got a little bit of this instant coffee, which will give it a nice little twist. Just add a little water, and you've got brown watercolor. Makes your painting smell like coffee, too. Okay, so we're done. We're gonna take her what we have so far and see how she does. All right, you guys, so I had the stocking full of stuff that my mom picked out for me, and my mom wants to use everything that's inside the bag. So I will go ahead and choose what the items are now. So there's no point in me like not looking because I'm using everything anyways. So let's see. What in the world? Is this coffee granules? Yes. Coffee granules, okay. Instant, that co coffee. instant coffee granules. For coffee I don't know. Watercolor. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm gonna. Okay. <laughs> You're not funny, Mom. Okay, next thing we got watercolor brush markers. Okay, that's not too bad. We got a dark tan marker. Just look at it right here. That's the color. Okay. We got a dark green color pencil. Oh, this is not looking so good, you guys. We got another marker. This one is dusty. Dusky Rose. So if I were to do a portrait of it, it's a good lip color, I guess. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. To be honest with you. We got a bright neon yellow color pencil. You know, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. My mom is so evil. My mom is so evil. I don't, she can try the rest of the supplies. Um, a wide brush. Okay, that's useful. Um, a small brush that's like a they're square brushes too, so that should be pretty cool to use. Another marker we got a, a colorless blender, a colorless blender, you guys. That's basically useless, but we have to use everything. So, what else do we have? We have a yellowed orange color pencil. Okay, that's not terribly bad. We got a tiny brush. Okay, this could be useful. I still don't know how I'm going to use the watercolor brush markers in the brushes, but we'll figure it out. Okay, we got a black marker. And I think there's two more things left in here. Okay, we just got a pencil. Okay, that's useful. And lastly, we got an eraser. All right, this... 
selection of stuff is very difficult but we're going to figure this out and i'll get back to you guys <laughs> i'll get back to you guys once i figure out a game plan all right you guys so i ended up losing my green color pencil so i had to grab another one that was similar so this is the one that i grabbed it's dark green i'm really sad that i lost that because that was a new color pencil and now i don't know where it is but the paper i'm going to use it's this huge Huge, huge thing of watercolor paper and we're gonna try our best to do it i don't know how well this is gonna go because i have one arm that i can't use right now but we're gonna try our best to make a really good art piece with it um i feel like it's gonna turn out pretty good and yeah so i decided to switch over to my floor because I don't have much room on my desk to do this. I'm going to go ahead and find a picture now and see what I'm going to do for the photo. So I'm just going to go on Pinterest and look up. Let's see. I'm going to look up reference photos. Something that speaks like speaks to me you know this sounds really cool I'm gonna save that oh crap I'm on my business account <laughs> I was wondering why I was wondering why um I couldn't see my pins Okay, this one is like perfect. So let me show you guys which one I'm going to do. I don't know what's going on with my phone right now, but it's not letting me save the photo. So I'm going to just have to crop it. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is the photo that I'm going to do. And I'll put it up on the screen for you guys, so you guys can see it a bit better. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on this, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And, yeah. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. you guys like it um i have mixed feelings about it it was kind of hard to do but i like it so i hope you like this video please click like and subscribe and let me know what you guys like it.